Yeah, I think the way the game went and, and the situation at the minute, it's just the nature of where we are. You know, we're all a bit frustrated. We all are working incredibly hard to to change where we are. It's as simple as that, you know. Um, and if you look at the game, in some ways, you know, the fact we started really poorly for 10 minutes, which was disappointing, particularly at home, which you know, we know the importance of, of, you know, A, getting a home result and B, starting well to help that home result and help the crowd and the atmosphere and everything. So um, I think the frustration really was having gone a goal down and it almost woke us up to actually in some ways having a pretty good period for about probably an hour where we end up um, getting chances, getting bodies in the box, hitting the post, um, having more opportunities on goal than I think we have done previously, getting more people attacking good areas than we have done previously, for which Sam Kluke has helped us to do that. Um, and then scoring two good goals in their own right, um, and then really being in control. And that, I think the frustration really was off the back of getting ourselves 2-1 up, feeling like we're in a certain amount of control for 10, 15 minutes. Um, and then the nature of a second goal, you know, it was, it was very unavoidable, which we've said so many times this season. So, um, you know, and then, and then if you feel, feel like, the, you know, the way the game then ended, of course, we've, we huffed and puffed a little bit and couldn't quite get the... Um, quite get the winner it felt like a defeat you know and that was just the nature of the way the game worked you know it felt like we'd thrown something away it felt like a defeat so of course you then go into the dressing room um, disappointed and, and, and when you've done that on a few occasions um, you know everyone's disappointed with each other like you say what you then do is in the ensuing days as you start to look at some of the things you actually did better than you've done in previous games in the match and some of the things you actually need to work on but um, last few days have been pretty positive. I think we've seen some good signs, but of course we all know we need to turn those good signs into into wins. We're all aware of that. It feels like the first 10, 10 or so minutes where it, we were slow out of the blocks again, and I'm assuming that you try to, to, to do everything possible to make certain that changes. But is there anything that you've thought of? I'm not asking you to tell me, but is there anything you've thought, thought about over the last couple of days that can improve that situation so you, you start on the top? I think it's a mentality, you know, it's a, men it's a mental thing. And I think it's just a mental side of playing at home. I mean, I think the, the, the nature of it is not an excuse, but the nature of it is when you've uh, had poor form at home and some of those players have also been part of that poor form over a longer period, you know, there is a little bit of a mental block and sometimes, um, you know, the only way to get through that is to try to force, be a little bit more forceful early on. And that's what we, we spoke to the players about it before the game. Um, and we spoke a little bit more about really just trying to be free for the first 10 minutes and, and take the game to the opposition. Um, to do that, really, you have to be high in confidence and be able to take take risks. And we didn't quite do that, you know, for, for whatever reason. So, uh, But it's certainly our intention. The players know that. I think it's their intention, but we just need to find a better, a better solution. You know, and I think it is just a mentality. It's a mentality to go and win your tackles early, go and win your headers early, you know, get on the front foot, run past the opposition and take them the other way and make them defend, you know, and that's and that's what it is. It's really about putting teams under pressure. Every team will talk about it and try to do it, mainly at home, not so much sometimes away from home because you can have a different outlook. Um, but, you know, it's certainly something we have to do better. And I think at the moment, of course, when we start like that, you know, the crowd don't get behind it because it's not, the start we want and it kind of blends into a melting pot of a little bit oh everyone's waiting for everyone to do something you know we can't do that we've got to be braver we've got to be better than that I don't think it's a huge huge problem uh, but I think the facts behind it are it's worth the risk because I think if you look at you know we've only scored first in seven games this season uh, we've won five and drawn two that's the fact so in some ways the start is worth having a little bit of a gamble to try and see if you can you can get that first goal. There's different ways of doing that, of course. You can't just then go gung-ho and chuck players forward willy-nilly because, of course, you leave yourself open the other end. But um, it's certainly worth trying to create a little bit of early tempo. And most teams will try to do it. Some will be successful, some won't be su successful. And, and at the moment, we need to find a, uh, a better way to do it. A lot of the fans are calling for you to perhaps play two strikers up front. Um, you depend on a great deal at the moment on the midfield players getting forward to help. I think it's a, it, you know, without being disrespectful, it's a generic view of, of 
of fans that they always see that as a solution. But if you look up and down the country, you know, Man City, for example, play with one striker, you know, but they'll obviously support that striker very quickly with other players. I think every team throughout the land plays a different, most teams, 90% play a different format of of uh, one striker and, and different players supporting. We've played games where we've played a striker on the left coming inside and, and joining in, you know, and it's not, I don't think that's necessarily a solution. Um, what I would say is that we want to get our midfielders quicker in support to whichever striker plays. We want to get our midfielders in the box. I think Joe Allen got in the box for both goals, um, scoring the second one. Um, Sam Klukas gets in the box for the first one, setting it up. James McLean gets in the box, you know, so so I actually felt we got, but I think it's more about getting bodies in and around those areas rather than necessarily just uh, let's play two strikers because, you know, that's my opinion. Um, and obviously, of course, as a manager, I'm, I live or die by that decision, you know, and I'm aware of that. That's the nature of the game, you know, but um, my opinion is that that's a common theme to ask for. The reality is doesn't necessarily make you any more attacking or more successful it's about getting bodies forward and it's about having the quality then to, to use those bodies in the attacking third so tomorrow when we hope for the bodies getting into the attacking third we know Derby better than, than most people having worked there how special is the match for you as a manager or is it just another game no more special at all and that's just that's not me um, dampening down um, how good a club Derby County is that's not me dampening down my experiences there as a player then a coach then a manager there um, but that's the reality is there is no there is no emotion to the game you know the game is one where you know we're fighting hard for Stoke City we're working incredibly hard to try to get to where we want to be a little bit quicker I think we've made even though you can't see it we think we've made a lot of strides in certain areas compared to you know the last couple of seasons but of course, the expectation and the fact we're in the championship means that you know that's not enough at the moment for anyone, and we're aware of that. So, uh, but the game is more important to us rather than me looking at the emotion of the game. I'll be really, really honest. It won't matter to me. You know, Derby County fans can sing what they want; they can do what they want. It won't. Whilst they're singing about me, they're not supporting their own team. So, I'll be quite happy if they spend the old ninety-five minutes abusing me. Um, and my team can just try and get on with attempting to win the game against a very good Derby side that have been led by, um, you know, an impressive Frank Lampard in his first role. The weather forecast is not great for tomorrow. So it'll be, um, <laughs> just told the lads about it. They didn't believe me. A wet and windy mm. night in, in the Potsies, and we've got three games in eight days. Yeah. Um, Will you consider any changes because of that? Yeah, we consider it. Not not necessarily because of the weather, just because of the nature of um, maybe what we need for the game and also maybe what we need in terms of energy in a, a midweek game. I think often the challenge for most managers, particularly with it being a Wednesday game, um, sometimes the challenge is more on the Saturday, but of course you can negate that by making some changes in the week and then it's less of a, less of a problem. Uh, I think with the squad we've got, we'll always look to tweak one or two areas. I think it's very difficult nowadays to just keep picking. Sometimes you want to pick the same team to get continuity, but it's actually very difficult to pick the same team when you've got so many good players not in the team. You know, so um, so the reality is we will look at one or two areas. We'll look at different ways in which we need to deal with Derby, hurt Derby, whatever the tactical um, solution is, and we will consider uh, making some changes. Whether I actually will make the changes will be a different matter. Tommy's came through the game okay on Saturday. Any other injury news? No, no, sir. Tommy's came through the game fine. I think he was a little bit sore the next day, but feels better for it now. Um, and, of course, played his part in both the goals. Um, Sam Klukas came through the game actually better probably than anyone thought he did. Um, you know, and if I actually look back on the game, um, when I took him off at that point, I mean, watched the game back, he probably didn't show us a lack of energy that I thought maybe he would do, you know, and I thought he saw the game through really, really well. So I was really surprised of, of how well he coped in the game and actually how good his performance was. So I think that means that we can make whatever decision we want, not based on how people have recovered coming back into the team so quickly and just simply down to what we think the game requires.